right guys, truck set up. Of course, sun's about down. Dang short days. But I gotta get a fire going and uh, we'll get to cooking. I've got something I'm gonna uh, cook in the fire tonight. Hopefully it turns out all right. Uh, new recipe that I haven't tried before. Something similar to something I've done, but never tried it before. For now, let's get this thing blazing before we run out of light as I usually do. Well, truck set up, fire's going, and we've got the extension cord plugged in so that we can run some heat tonight. And as a great man once said, it's time for step two. Meet you guys down by the fire. Well, the fire's burning nicely, so I grabbed some of these. So these are hams. I have had these before, but it's been quite a while, since 1865. America's classic premium beer, born in the land of sky blue waters. Brewed in true family tradition from purest water and choicest barley mock grades and hops. Uh, and so it's Hams Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've had one of these. This is a 16 ounce can and these are 4.7%. They're not too bad. It's just a good plastic beer. You don't see a ton of it. Uh, most of the time when I see it, it's in like your average small town bar with, uh, with it on tap or something. I've had it that way, but. All the leaves in that fire pit are starting to burn up now. Well. That's good. For now, it's just time to relax. We gotta let that fire burn down a bit. I mean, I probably could cook in there right now, but but we'll give that a few minutes to burn. I'll probably throw a few more logs on there. And we'll hang out. It's gonna be a cold one tonight, which is why I plugged in. Um, I wanna say it's a low of 25. Might be like 28. Oh, it went up, low of 30 degrees. So I guess it's not gonna be quite that bad. I'd be fine 
without the heater, but I'd like to run it tonight. Um, so yeah, time to chill, drink a beer, enjoy the fire, watch the sunset happening right there. Do -do 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 -do. And uh, hopefully I don't screw up dinner tonight. <laughs> Sun went down and it got cold fast. Grab my coat, get this heater out. I'll eat this for dinner. And we'll grab that too. Glad I remember my stocking cap this time. Moon's already up. Can you guys see it? Just barely. There you go. That's the moon. Looks pretty bright. Might be a full moon tonight. Well, I could definitely uh, get to cooking. We should probably do that. We've got a bit of light left. This camera makes it look way brighter. But yeah, moon's up back there and it's getting cold. All right, so tonight we're gonna use the sandwich maker, pie iron. I think these are called a pie iron. It just says camp cooker on it. But we're gonna call it a pie iron for the sake of the title. So we're gonna make pie iron, pie iron pizzas. Uh, and we'll see how this turns out. I plan on using like an actual pre-made pizza crust. Uh, you could also use like uh, biscuits, uh, Grand's biscuits or something like that, not biscuits. Uh, you could use Grand's crescent rolls or something along those lines, like pre-made crescent rolls. It's not going to take much. We have these Mama Mary's original pre-made pizza crusts, and I think there's three of those in there. Uh, some mozzarella cheese, some also Mama Mary's uh, pepperoni, and some ragu marinara, pizza sauce, homestyle pizza sauce, and we're gonna slap that in the camp cooker and stick it right in the coals. And hopefully it turns out all right. I think the only hard part is going to be making the pizza crusts somewhat fit in here since they're round ones. But we can cut them up. Yeah, there's three of them in here. There you go. Doesn't taste bad. 
just gonna do the old pour technique. Probably entirely too much. Put a good amount in there, I guess. Six pepperonis, bunches of cheese. Hopefully, I can get her closed. Probably too much cheese. Now we need to do another crust. So I'm not going to have enough to make two. Okay. Alright, slap this other one on the top. I feel like I can put more in there. Maybe we'll just stick a couple of these pieces of crust in here to thicken it up and use it up. I don't know. Why not? I ain't that picky. We'll have thick, deep dish crust. There we go. That's going to fill it up sure down good and onto the fire it goes I think we're gonna give that three minutes each side should be good Been a little bit over six minutes. I think that's probably going to be done. It smells like it's been cooking. Hopefully, it's not all burnt. But it's because I put those other that other piece of. I think it's all burnt. No, well, this did not go. This did not go well. <laughs> Bone apple feet. Let's see what the bottom of this looks like. Here we go. All right. So there's dinner. The bottom of it doesn't look bad at all. Let me flip her over. I mean, that doesn't look bad. The top got a little crispy on, maybe it was the second side got a little bit more crispy, but it didn't stick together at all. I ate a couple pieces of this crust, and this reminds me of, like, I think Lunchables, you can get little pizzas. It's the same stuff. There's gotta be. I don't think this is going to be bad at all. Can I just pick this up and eat it? It tastes good. It's ooey gooey. Well, other than it being a little bit overdone, I think. Does not taste bad at all. I'm gonna put a little extra marinara down here to dip her into. Slag our way up this thing. I could have did worse, I guess. Just not the right kind of crust to use. Like I said, I've used crescent rolls for stuff like this before. That works a lot better.
thought it wasn't bad. And it's getting cold out here anyways. And I've got snacks in the truck. So, I'm gonna get this junk cleaned up. And uh, I'm gonna get headed in the truck, so I'll see you guys in there. Y'all, it is officially cold in here. It is officially cold outside. My feet are freezing. I did not wear thick socks and I'm regretting it. Uh, man, this says it's below freezing. I thought the temperature was only supposed to get down to 30, but this says like it's 26 right here. Yeah, this says 30. My thermometer says 26. So, I'm gonna get this heater plugged in and turned on and get my feet warm. And trains out there. Trains and traffic. Welcome to Nebraska. Yeah, that feels better. All right, guys, got changed. Uh, here is heating things up. It is 54 degrees in here now, so it heats things up quite quickly. All I've done is thrown my jacket under the bed and uh, changed my pants. But let's get a movie going. Um, I'm thankful I have some snacks in here since dinner didn't turn out the greatest. I'm glad I tried it though, but. Like I said, I would just go with those crescent rolls or something along those lines. I think that cooks up a lot nicer. Man, my feet are just cold. I left the back of the truck open. I usually don't do that, but it didn't hurt anything. It just means everything in here is, is really cold right now. So it's gonna take a little bit to heat all this up. Um, this window's open and I've got that window cracked open a little bit just to Get a little bit of airflow through here. And we're gonna sit back and watch a movie at 7.48 p.m. So it's not really that late. It is like a full moon out there tonight, it looks like. It just never looks good on the camera. I'm not good enough with my camera, I suppose. All right, what are we gonna watch up over here, over yonder? Okay. Uh, I think I know what I'm going to watch. It's something I've been honestly kind of avoiding. But somebody mentioned it. We talked about it a little bit. I think maybe in a live stream or something like that. Maybe it was just in the comments somewhere. But I'm going to watch the new version of Total Recall. The remake of Total Recall. Um, so if you're not familiar with Total Recall, it was an older movie and it had Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Uh, and they redid it and I'll have to find you the new thing on it since Netflix doesn't allow you to look at it after you download like Amazon does. Come on Netflix, step your game up. I want to be able to read all the information about the movie if I download it. Okay, so it was remade in 2012, but I've never seen it before. Uh, it's got Colin Farrell, Kate Beckinsale, and Jessica Biel in it. All good actors. I just uh, was a big fan of the original one. I kind of feel like, I don't know if it's going to be the greatest. It's only got 31% on Rotten Tomatoes. Not that I really follow that, but uh, if that tells you something. So, in need of a vacation from his ordinary life, factory worker Douglas Quaid, played by Colin Farrell, visits Recall, a company that, oh, Recall, a company that can turn dreams into real memories, thinking that memories of life as a super spy are just the ticket. Quaid undergoes the procedure, but it goes horribly wrong. Suddenly, Quaid is a hunted man, so he teams up with a rebel fighter who's Jessica Beale on a search to find the head of an underground resistance and take down the leader, which is Brian Cranston of the Free World. So, the actors might make this one. We'll see how it plays out. It might just have a bad review because it is a remake. Uh, but 
it's got a bunch of good people in it so we'll see how this plays out I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this and sit back and try to get my feet warmed up my feet are still cold the floor is not bad but man my feet are cold I got to get my feeties under this big old sleeping bag over yonder move my heater a little bit farther away from that and kick back chill out crank this volume up a little bit hopefully this doesn't suck <laughs> hopefully it doesn't suck as much as my dinner did <laughs> all right uh, my mattress is sliding off a bit switch lights that's bright There we go. Oh, I gotta pay attention. It's it's writing stuff out. I gotta use my brain. Oh, come here. All right. There we go. Oh, good morning. Well, good morning, y'all. I, uh, I fell asleep during that movie last night. By the time I woke up, it was like middle of the night. But, it's seven in the morning, and I got another beautiful sunset. Sunset, sunrise going on out there. Oof. It's cold out there. Well, I don't necessarily want to get out of bed yet, but uh, I actually fell asleep pretty early last night. And uh, number two, uh, I don't really want to admit this because I feel like an idiot, but I forgot to bring any water. I've got ice cubes in the cooler, but normally I'll have a few water bottles or a few bottles of water or whatever. Uh, and even when I don't have any in the cooler, like I usually have some in the truck. Uh, but I have absolutely zero water with me, which is a terrible, terrible thing. Uh, it also means I can't make any coffee. And I can't really do anything. So, and that red is already gone from the sunrise. I caught it like at the perfect moment. Oh. <sighs> the movie was really. It wasn't bad, but I don't think it lived up to the classic Total Recall. We'll just say that, but I don't think it was bad. Storylines seemed a bit different, but man. <sighs> On a morning where I could use a cup of coffee, I have nothing. Cheese? Want some cheese? I think I need to get changed and... I think we need to go find some coffee somewhere. Ah. It's 52 degrees in here. All the windows are cracked slightly. The heater is set to 60. So it's been working all right. I'm gonna get changed out of these jammed pants because I'm not gonna walk into the gas station looking like this. I could go back to sleep, but I'm up. I might as well just keep moving. Right, right, right. 
do this. Yeah, it's cold out, y'all. I don't really want to get out. Oh. Get this heater unplugged, I suppose. I'm an idiot. I left my lights on and I left my keys up front. Bummer. Oh. I need some like superhuman power so I don't have to crawl in there. Give me my keys, truck. Give them to me now. should have definitely been smart enough to bring a bunch of water with me like I usually do but uh, I guess my brain was not working on the way here uh, we should be able to find a nearby uh, gas station and fingers crossed they got some Duncan it's been a little while since I've had Duncan but we shall see so Let's go find ourselves some coffee. Alright y'all, well, grab some Dunkin'. Uh, this time of year, like, they don't always have the original flavors out. This one is a Girl Scout S'mores. I'm pretty sure I've had this before, but uh, I prefer just, you know, mocha or whatever. But they did have breakfast sammies. So I got a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. It's pretty small, but should be better than nothing. It's cold out there right now. Uh, yeah. What does this look like? Not nothing fancy, but that's good. I really can't believe I fell asleep during that movie last night. It's very rare that I do that, but it happens sometimes. So. It is what it is. I have I had a snack chip, snack tater chip back. I had a tater chip back there. I wanted to show you guys, but we'll just have to leave that for the next one, I guess. Something I've never seen before. I mean, it smells like uh, like some sort of chocolate. Oh. Oh. that's good stuff. Did I shake it up enough? Yeah. It's good, but the regular one's better, but they don't have them. God dang. Well, right, it's time to get mosey on down the road, I suppose. Oh. This thing's 
turned back on. It's cold in here. All right, y'all. I'm going to get headed home and uh, figure out what I'm going to do next. Anyways, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.